Okay guys, Halo Infinite Campaign just came out. I've already tested out the GTX 1060 in the multiplayer mode. But as we all know, sometimes uh, multiplayer and campaign performance can be different. And so what are we doing right now? Well, this is the first part of the game where you actually get to control the character. So I can't tell you whether that, that's representative of the uh, you know, performance throughout the whole game. Um, but we can at least test something out now. Well, right now we're at 1080p, and I've set everything to the high preset. I did some research, um, and I will test out some other settings here, but it seems like overall the high settings are the way to go in terms of a you know, performance to uh, you know, visual quality impact. You don't gain a lot by going lower, and you also you know, lose a bit going higher and without gaining huge performance, but we'll test that out a bit in this video. And so you can see all the settings here. I do have async compute on. And again, 1080p for now. Resolution scaling in this game is very good, and we will test that out. Um, at these high settings, it seemed to be getting me right about 60 FPS, sometimes a little bit above, sometimes a little bit below. And so this seemed like a good place to start. So what I'm mainly interested in is if as combat starts going, if we're able to uh, keep that um, keep around 60 FPS. So I'm hoping that we can basically just do 1080p high settings and get around 60 FPS. Um, I heard a grunt talking. So, let's uh, punch him. Okay. Well, I have to at least partially look at what I, where I'm aiming rather than just um, at the FPS counter, but I felt like we stayed, again, pretty close to 60 FPS during that encounter. Okay, using my little scan thing. Did that effect kind of hurt the frame rate just a little bit? Seems like we dropped us into kind of the mid-50s using the scan, which is telling me where I'm supposed to go. I imagine this is trying to get me to use my grappling hook. <laughs> Not used to Halo having a grappling hook. Do, can I not grab the ledge? Is that not... Is that not something I can do? So maybe I go around this way. These things seem to... be going up. So we're definitely not always staying above 60. But it feels good. I do have variable uh, variable refresh rate. So for me, I don't really feel any of these dips at all. Yeah, drop down around 50, upper 40s here, as I guess this lighting is probably more challenging. But this still feels very playable. Um, especially on a variable refresh rate monitor. So the next thing I'm thinking is if I leave at um, leave things at high settings, what if we now try a little bit of resolution scaling? So we've established that it can't hold a locked 60 FPS at 1080p high. So one thing we can try out here is setting a minimum frame rate. So a minimum frame rate is going to now dynamic, dynamically scale the resolution every time we drop below 60 in order to try to stay at 60. So let's go ahead and try that out. Visually, I've got to say, it's very hard to tell that there's any resolution scaling happening here. Just like I saw in my multiplayer testing, I think the resolution scaler in this game is extremely good. It seems like we're getting well above 60, so maybe the resolution scaler might be getting too aggressive. Although I really can't see. Excuse me, sir. This guy doesn't seem very nice. Well guys, I was kind of engaged in the combat, but I feel like it did hold us above 60. 
And while fighting, I, I could not really tell any loss of sharpness due to the resolution scaling. Maybe you guys watching on the video and not actually being the ones in combat, I'm not sure. What's this guy up to? So I'm curious if I wasn't resolution scaling, um, if I'm going to lose frame rate here. So let, let's turn off the minimum frame rate again. And see here we're down around 50 again. Everyone. I know. So, yeah, it's definitely doing, uh, the resolution scaling seems to help out quite a bit. So that's going to be my number one thing, is if you want to stay at 60 FPS, I mean, just set that as your, your minimum frame rate target, and it seems to be doing a great job. Now, you could also just do a locked resolution scale, like we could maybe res scale from around 900p. Um, let's see what that does. We are so that is hitting me right at about 60 FPS here. We're the banished. Okay, dude. I still have enough mangler shots. I think I'll just keep that going. Um, where am I supposed to go? Let's use my little uh, scanner. Come into grips with my mortality. I've always loved the grunts. Boom. And when I actually play this game, I'm going to probably play on Heroic or Legendary, because on Normal, it's it's usually a little bit too easy. I mean, I don't know this particular Halo game, but Halo in general. <laughs> Grappling has kind of fun. Okay, um, so I think we tested out this resolution scale pretty well. So yeah, I think it's up to you whether you'd prefer to use the minimum frame rate uh, to target a, uh, you know, 60 FPS or something like that, or just, you know, set a locked resolution scale. Uh, both of them seem to function very well here. Let's see if we can get back to 1080p. There we go. Now what else should we try out? So let's test out lowering the settings a bit more. Actually, let's go up to ultra. Now. Notice it'll say that it requires a restart. However, I'm fairly certain because I tested this one by one to see which ones would trigger that. And it was just the texture quality and I believe it was the effects quality. And neither of those things were very, um, the effects quality especially wasn't very noticeable. And the texture quality, uh, the difference between high and ultra was very hard to notice. And so I'm saying this probably isn't really actually at ultra. I'll probably keep it down here at high just so you guys can see because you might be worried about the VRAM usage there. Um, and again, I don't think the effects quality is actually at ultra now. I think, look, see when I, when I put those back to high, notice that that went away, right? So even though I'm not restarting the game, you can see that I'm basically on ultra except for textures and effects left down at high. Let's go ahead and see how we do. Um, doesn't look like a huge performance hit, although we are dropping down to the low 50s now. Looks like a little bit of upper 60s from time to time. So it is definitely a performance hit. And visually, I've got to say, I can't really notice much difference. So I feel like on a stronger GPU, you might as well run it at Ultra, but on the 1060, we don't really have the extra... Um, the extra headroom to just crank it to ultra without, I feel like, losing a bit too much performance. How do I... I feel like I'm just, I'm just dumb with my grappling hook, guys. I don't, I don't know, what do you think? There we go. <laughs> I don't really have a feel for it yet. I've played the multiplayer quite a bit, but I, I, I'm mostly playing the competitive mode and haven't really done much of the grappling hook. Yeah, I feel like Ultra is a bit too much in combat. Let's let's try drop. See, we saw we were dropping into the 40s there, so I'm gonna go back to the high preset and see if it holds much better um, at high. Okay, so so we're at high now. Back to high. Let's go back into combat with the jackals. Okay, honestly, it's still dropping into the 40s. Let's just, let's 
Let's just punch the guy. Oh, I should do that. It took longer to reload than I expected. I'm gonna shoot around him. Do I have grenades? That's what I want, but I guess I don't have grenades yet. Oh, out of ammo in that gun. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a little bit more um, settings playing with. So let's say we didn't resolution scale. We already know resolution scaling is gonna help us out and it's gonna look great. What if we went down to medium though? Okay, now keep in mind this is gonna be keeping the textures at high, right? So, so the textures are actually on high without a restart and the effects are actually on high without a restart. So that's what the settings actually are. There you go. Okay, ooh, is this actually getting us around 60? Remember, in this combat, we were not able to hold 60 at high settings. It looks like medium is pretty much getting us there. I keep forgetting I don't have any ammo in that gun. Let's get my shields back, guys. Run in and punch these guys. So we saw that we were dropping a bit below 60 at times, but I would say we were definitely averaging around 60 in combat here at these medium settings. And then when I'm like in a less demanding scene, you can see that it'll hold over 60. So I think you can average around 60, it looks like, at the medium settings. Again, I don't know what other parts of this game will be like. Am I not? I'm pressing E. Guys, I'm... I'm, I'm sure you can hear my overclicking. I guess I have to hold it down. It's probably more of a console kind of focus Drop thing. Ships. An invasion force. Should we play with the settings a bit? So so medium seemed, seemed very good uh, performance wise there. Let's see if we went down to low, but once again, the textures are actually still at high, which really helps the visuals anyway. And the six gigabyte card has plenty of headroom for those textures. And then, like I said, the effects don't actually change without a restart. Uh, where's the effect settings? Uh, bro, I can't find it, guys. Effects quality. There we go. Again, that's really still at high. We stand a chance against all this. The banished one already. We could be the only two humans left alive out here. Then there's still hope. I don't think this looks terrible at low settings, but I, but I can tell that like I feel like the lighting and shadows is somewhat noticeably worse. Although I still think it looks you know fine. Oh, I have grenades now. Let's, let's, let's go with that a bit. Except I missed. Good for me. Okay. Seems like, yeah, low settings performance is great, uh, even in combat there. I know that part of this game is supposed to get more open world, so I'm curious how that goes. Also, note that I'm on a very high-end CPU. I have heard that on um, lower-end CPUs, this game can be a bit demanding, especially driving around in the open world areas. So do keep that in mind. Boom. I wanted to see how the grenade went. We stayed over 60. Okay, so in my opinion though, the high settings look quite good. Uh, not just anti-aliasing, where's the overall quality? Here we go. So let's go back to the high settings and then once again, get an idea how we're doing without resolution scaling. See, we're definitely not able to hold 60 without res scaling. But let's do it again. I really think that the way to go, my recommended settings for the GTX 1060 are gonna be either manually resolution scaling or using a minimum frame rate target of around 60. And this feels great. And like I said, I'm really not actually able to see the res scale. Not while I'm paying attention to combat. So I think if I was actually going to be playing this game on a 1060, I think this is where I would go. This feels good. It looks good. Uh, it's going to maintain my frame rate, set it and forget it, and away we go. Uh, look out for my coverage though on my other GPUs. I'll be testing this out on my RX 6800 XT. 
and that on that GPU will go all the way up to uh, 4K, and as well as uh, 1440p and 1080p. And then um, I also have an RX 6600 that I'll want to test out, but the 6800 XT is the one I'll actually be playing the game on. So I hope you guys uh, have an excellent day, and remember this game is on Game Pass for PC, so if you have Game Pass for PC, that's a good way to get it. You can also usually get like a uh, $1 free trial to game, uh, not free trial, but a $1 uh, introductory pricing, so if you just want to play the game. Uh, and you haven't signed up for Game Pass before, you can honestly probably beat this game in a weekend <laughs> on your $1 membership, so... Um, just saying. Alright, I'm having fun. So far this feels good. And I got blasted by a thing, so let's end the video there. Have an excellent day.